What's going on, everybody? The Evil Genius of Professional Wrestling, Titus Machiavelli. Got ourselves a new series we're going to start, The Outer Worlds. Now, I played this game uh, about two months ago for the very first time, kind of powered through it, and I've been wanting to play it again, and I figured, what the heck? Let's play it and share it with you guys. So let's get ourselves started into The Outer Worlds. All right, new game. Let's get going. We're going to do... Um, this is a mode you enjoy story more than combat, story more image of less health, normal. Uh, we're going to do normal just because it's only my first time back, so I want to, you know, get the hang of it. We can raise it up if we need to. Get a little more text size there because, you know, I'm old. All right, let's get going here. Very excited about uh, sharing this game with you. I really enjoyed it the first time. Go. Hey, do me a favor though. Uh, make sure that you uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe and bell notification too if you think I have earned it. All right, top secret telecon. Uh oh. Breach of Hope Security Corridor. Unidentified ship. yet who this guy is ah uh, Phineas Vernon Wells fugitive wanted by Helicon Vol holding support Phineas Wells hundreds of thousands of colonists left adrift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line disgraceful All right, we got six points. Now let's take a look here how we want to do these attributes. So we got strength. Uh, strength affects melee weapon damage. We got dexterity. Affects the melee speed attack. Attack speed, excuse me. Ranged weapon reload speed. Intelligence. Perception. Affects headshots and weak shots. Charm. Uh, affects faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. And temperament. So let's see, we got six points. We definitely want to put a couple of those in intelligence because, you know, evil genius and all. Uh, perception, we want to do that one high. Um, does that affect the amount we can carry? Let's do a little bit more strength and a little charm. And temperament, right? Regen health per second. All right, let's start there. I think that's a good spot to, to get ourselves going with. We got our skills. Um, definitely want to, let's see. We're going to lay off the melee. I'm not going to play a lot of melee at this point. Um, let's see. Uh, we want we have two points. So we want to put in pers hmm, persuade. If we're ever captured, I'll let you do the talking. Mm, yeah, let's do persuade. If we're ever captured, let's go there. I'll let you do the talking. Okay. Oh, we still got one more. I'm sorry. We got, um, yeah, we're going to do dialogue and leadership. Chairman material, or at least captain. Aptitude. All right. No discernible aptitude. Beverage servants, technician, drink effect, bureaucrat, cashier, construction, elevator. Where? Possible <laughs> game mascot, medical, safety, plasma damage, reception. Let's 
Let's do science. Well, that's ready. We all start somewhere, I suppose. Uh, we are definitely a male. Uh, let's just get a quick look. Oh, no, that ain't bad. Yeah, let's go there. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice size jaw, mouth size. Uh, nose. And then that's all good in the face. We'll just go there. Hair. Let's take a look at their hairstyles really quick. Let's see. Let's look at color first. Because I want to be able to see what we're doing here. No, well, not so much. Eighties rock star. Nineties rock star. It's not bad. Seventeen's the leader right now in uh in this. I don't know. Probably fire's not bad. Yeah, and then we've got facial hair. Not bad. I'm going to match the color. Yeah. Go that way. Features. Dirt. Scar. We got to have a scar because we're in, you know, in space. hate that one we're gonna add some age to ourselves older guy all right and of course our name well that's easy Titus Machiavelli all right think we're ready to go Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. That's a my lucky day? All right, here we are. Here's Phineas taking off. Not likely, bootlickers. Uh oh, Phineas is in trouble. <sighs> Initiate skip jump. Two orbiting laboratory, Halcyon system. Status: structural integrity down twenty-five percent. Power levels down to <sighs> if drive Shit. Like we're waking up here. Ah, there, there we go. you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for seventy years. Oh, no take. big deal, just seventy. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death. Cool. It's really more of a liquefaction. 
Something Nothing to be scared of. Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Well, I don't want to die, horrifically or otherwise. saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Okay. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. Okay. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. That's, um... All right. Ah! All right, here now we're getting into the game. <clears throat> Remember the hope. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. The 60th anniversary of the hope's Can disappearance. You hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. All right. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. Sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor. Thank you. So I can track your progress. You're tracking I'll me? I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. All right, no pressure. We're entering Terra 2's atmosphere in our sort of escape pod, it feels like. Okay. Well, that didn't work out very well. So we're all... Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Yeah, no doubt. All right. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Getting the controls down so we know what we're doing. I hear like movement or something going on there. Oh, you sneaking, use tall grass rocks and others. Okay. Uh oh. Oops, that hurt. Use an emergency. Oh. Okay. Hey, you, come here. Oh, hey, what's going on, dude? How are you? You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. 
Looks like the bleeding's done. All right, up you have there. One. Tell him. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Space and Chase. Hmm. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. That's all right. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What about the Marauder? What are you doing out here? You're hiding in a cave. You're blocked the exit. What about Marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Guns? Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract Marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, not bad. Let's see, I got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go help. Uh, someone grounded the ship illegally. Uh, you know what? Give me your gun. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. Nice! You tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Tell me where I am. Yeah. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Um, about the hope. The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but... I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Right. Company policy. Yeah, take care, dude. Anything I can pick up? Any goodies? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's. Okay. Did you shoot those, I'm assuming? there all right hibernation complications detected tactical time dilation due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation your brain process time processes time differently pressing the tactical time delineation deli button sh slows the world down giving you time to think as well as take action you have a limited time in this mode standing uh, still drains your TD, TTD meter very slowly while moving it in the attack straight and faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Q is your dilation. So let's see. Boom. Boom. All right, cool. All Goodness. Okay. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock picking skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you'll need to see how many mag, uh, mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number. All right. They have to be one more sitting right here somewhere. What in the heck is that noise? 
Alright. Um, we don't have enough to unlock that, huh? Alright, well, let's move on then, I guess. It'll come back. Maybe he got something. That guy, where's the other one? He's right there. All right, let's just keep on uh, keeping on, I guess. Okay, we're hiding here. Can we? Right, that's that. Weapon management. You can have four weapons equipped at one time, dragging them to slots, top of the screen. Okay. Alright, there's this guy. I'm gonna try to sneak attack. Where's the other guy? He's right there. One's gone. Hawthorne ship fifty meters away. Management. Helmet. Cool. Consumables. Mods. Yeah, I only got four of those at the moment. Your codex. All right, let's take a look here. Sure. How's it going? How are you? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Landing violators. Oh, I'm that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap them with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. So I heard I found one of your teammates up in the cave. Really? How is he? Um, he'll make it. I, I helped him with pain. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. Sorry. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand and personal Fantastic. Defense, I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Uh, do they back down from a challenge? I bet uh, I could ha get these marauders if you tell me the. Uh, eh, I guess I'll have uh, give you zero on my customer satisfaction. Um, let's see what sounds good. We want to play this a little bit more like you know who Titus Machiavelli is. You know, <clears throat> we're going to um, we're going to persuade them. Well, sometimes management's real good at cost benefit analysis. Okay, but. Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? What? You're right. I know. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Laminated. Here we go. Yeah, you guys go get those guys.
Ah, uh, Private Kimball died. It's unfortunate for him. Where did this guy go? Wasn't he a great? Yeah, there he is. Is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Yeah, probably so. Look at that. Beautiful game though, isn't it? Please be informed that this okay. vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay. Unauthorized access of space. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. I'm, I'm not a Please marauder. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I'm not here to um, misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate. Indicating dishonesty. Maybe. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five. You realize we're on the ground, you huh? Are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. Cool. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than. Captain Alex Hawthorne. Um, gee. Hawthorne's dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. Yeah, well, I'm cool I like am that. programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yeah. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I get that. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Uh -oh. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged. Of course it and has. must be replaced. Well, I doubt I'm going to find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However... The probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. Okay. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. <laughs> this cartridge <laughs> identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Got it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I will try to stay alive this time. All right, we have leveled up. We get skill and perks. All right, Aunt Cleo's management training. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend um, skills, skills that grip on maximum 50. After 50, you can add points directly to special up to 100. All right, <clears throat> let's see. And we've leveled up. So, first we've got 10 points. We want to we want to stick with tech. A couple of those. A couple of ranged weapons. Leadership, stealth. Yeah, that'll do that. Perks. Well, we want to uh, I want to apply. Uh, companion abilities. You can command your companions to use their special abilities on enemies when you are targeting. Companion ability. Companion 2 ability. Okay. C and D. Uh, then we've got perks. All right. Let's take a look at our perks. We've got <coughs> toughness perk. Base health is higher. Tactical dilation, damage alone, walk speed. Walk speed might be one to do. Sprint speed, weapon armor loss 
Uh, armor durability loss, companion crit, base armor. Uh, do, 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 carrying capacity. I think that's where I'm going to go to start off with. Uh, you've become very efficient at transporting goods. Maybe you should have been born a cargo hauler. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Well, I don't hate that idea. Yeah, let's do the encumbered one. And that's our journal, our codex. So now we've got to find a power regulator. I need to mark all these. It's going to drive me nuts. Right, we'll do that later. We'll do that off. All right, so now we got to find a power regulator. All right, let's take a quick second here and um, explore our ship just for a moment. Obviously, this is the captain's bridge. Looks like storage. Is in need of repair. I suppose everything on the island. Ooh. Shh, 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 shh. Item repair. Our shotgun there. Reliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No. We've got Mr. Ouch. Melee weapon mod attack increases from a power attack. Cool. Let's see what we can do. We want to take this. Let's see if we can, can we, let's go here. Um, break down, break down this other one here. Then we want to modify that. Install mod. This mod cannot be used. Okay. All right. Upgraded that. She was our shotgun. Anything else going on along here? Let's go upstairs this way. Show you guys that. This is like the cargo These hold here. Devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Oh, that's a Please seal. Ignore them. Seal. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Nothing. I'm just going to give a quick look around and see what's going on up here. All that is sealed. That the would ship's be engines cannot be powered until a replacement power regulator. regulator has been Alright, let's go installed. find the regulator, guys. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. No, I don't like to travel alone. Well, we're gonna Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Sounds like a fair deal. All right. Well, let's get over to, I guess, Edgewater. Try to find that power regulator. Oh, hi.
Nothing on that guy. Nothing on him. But these guys didn't have anything. A bunch of bumps. Here we go. Is there a bad guy over here? Teach you to get in my way. All right, getting the hang of the controls. Nothing there. Cause I got all that there. What is this? Nothing. All right. I want to stay on the main path and make sure there's nothing that we want to catch there. There it must be. Yeah, it's water. Whoa, hey. hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Ah, uh, you know what? Um, <clears throat> how do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Fair enough. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Low prices. Nice to meet you. I'm Pleased Captain. To make your acquaintanceship. Author. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that. No, no, no. I Name's really don't. Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Great. Who have I talked to about power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Okay. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Wow. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. You make people pay for their graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. Why can't you collect those fees Quarters yourself? Mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury right, them. I can always use Four a job. workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. How so? He, may, he just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just How do I find him? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's go take a look inside the Edgewater. Again, beautiful game. Look at the look at this. Wow, it's a beauty. Head into Edgewater here in the Emerald Vale.
I've got some time. What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. Gotcha. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Oh, that's in technically I'm employed by the spacer's choice. That's just not really cool. Salt tuna cannery. We'll explore more. Let's go upstairs and see about the power regulator. That's our first, our first need. Do, 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 do. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going Hello, awry. I got a gun to your head. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with, well, not. Seems we've got a guess. Let's move a little closer. Really now, Pavari, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't work for Spacer's Chase. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. I need repairs. I'm looking for a regulator. The only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let me guess. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Mostly abandoned? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Deserters. Former workers. Okay. I need them back at their posts. Tell I, me what to do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. I didn't realize the, uh, the like button was on that whole time, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her <coughs> the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. How will I recognize her? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. These workers must have left for a reason. That reason was me. Of course it was. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community. Can't the make spaces. any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. Oh, really? I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. Wait, Thompson, I'm not sure I like you. you. Um, I'm going to take her help. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. All right, Pavardi. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It all right. Companions. You've gained a companion. They're characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Increase carrying capacity. Cool. All right. Well, we're going to leave it here.
uh, on our next episode, we're going to head for that power regulator, get the, uh, the starship up and running, and um, head on out. Appreciate you guys, you know, checking in. And remember, you know, if uh, you like this, uh, hit the, uh, the like button. Also, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell if you think I have earned such a thing. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.